Hello everybody. To start it off, I want to say I'm a list maker and so I started making a list of things that I wanted to uh, pinpoint in this video and I started trying to spell Thanksgiving and it went very awry. What is that? Everything's been really busy. My grandpa did pass away, as I mentioned in my previous video, I believe, and his funeral was delayed by a week, but that didn't stop my oldest sister and her husband and son from coming up and visiting uh, for... I wanna say they were here for like four days. There were like three days in between my oldest sister coming to visit and my, I call her my middle sister. It doesn't really work like that. She's the middle sister out of the three of us that grew up together. Obviously having two kids under the age of five running around. Plus we have three cats, a dog, six adults, and eight horses. It was a lot to take care of. We were stepping on toys all the time. That has made all sorts of crazy things happen. Like, I pretty much dropped out of NaNoWriMo. While they were here, however, I was reminded of the fact that I had wanted to write a children's story for each of my niece and my two nephews that are younger. So I've been working on those and it's a really important project to me because it's about them. I had a lot of fun. It was my first experience writing a children's book and I kind of hope that I can keep churning them out. I want to do that every year for them until, you know, they're old enough that maybe they don't want them anymore or whatever. I got really orange. Wow. This is distractingly orange. Come on, Ed. Let's make me this orange. That made it worse. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna be like a dark orange -ish. As far as TV shows go, I haven't really been watching much of anything. Um, this past weekend, I did like a Doctor Who weekend, um, as opposed to just the day of the Doctor, which was Saturday. I went over to my boyfriend's condo uh, Friday evening, and I brought with me the Doctor Who 50th anniversary Monopoly and decided that that would be a game that we would play that night. The next day I watched the entire seventh season of Doctor Who and I managed to get all 13 episodes plus the Christmas special snowman one. Um, watched within the day and then the 50th anniversary uh jeremy fell asleep in the middle of it so not only did i watch it on saturday but i also watched it again this morning because he only saw half of it so clearly he needed to see the other half and see how it ended and if any of you follow me on my Tumblr, you'll realize that the entire day Saturday, I was just reblogging Doctor Who pretty much. So Thanksgiving is coming up this week and I plan on making desserts for Thanksgiving. Yay! It's a no-bake sort of thing, so um, it should be pretty easy to whip up and I will let you know how it is and it's a recipe that I got off of Tumblr so I will link to it down below and you can see what it is that I'm going to be making. Yay! Uh, no big pumpkin pie in a jar. Oh, uh, so there will be a video coming up soon of my kitten with this toy. I don't think he's ever encountered catnip before because I haven't given it to him. Um, mostly because he's crazy enough as it is. So I will shoot a video of him 
playing with this and we will see just how crazy he gets. I don't want to sneeze. It's like I'm going to. A couple of like more out there topics from what I normally cover. Something that I've been noticing um, a lot when it comes to the LGBT, is that the way it goes? LGBT? I think so. That whole awareness campaign and everything is a lot of people are talking about bisexual erasure and how a lot of people are like, oh, well, you're you're dating a guy and you're a girl, so therefore you're straight. Or, you know, oh, you're a girl and you're dating another girl, so you must be a lesbian. And they don't look at it as though, you know, the person is bisexual. I, I understand both sides of the coin where the person looking in on the relationship would just assume, you know, a girl with another girl, okay, they're a lesbian. A girl with a guy must be straight. I understand that's pretty straightforward. Uh, <laughs> um, it, it's a logical thought process and we don't tend to go, hmm, I wonder if this person is actually bisexual. I see it from the other side, being a pansexual, similar to bi. Uh, a pansexual woman with a man, people assume I'm straight, and I'm really not. Um, I just find it interesting how people get all riled up over people just assuming um, due to what they're seeing, I guess, that another person's sexual orientation is one way or another, and that they don't often think that they're that they lie within the middle ground. So I just I think it's an interesting uh, development in being a pansexual woman. I would say chill out a little bit. I mean, sure. Uh, say what you are if you feel you need to mention it if somebody just assumes you're straight and you are offended by it say hey I'm bisexual or actually I'm pansexual instead of just you know kind of attacking and assuming that the other person is being close-minded or you know just erasing bisexuality or any alternative sexuality. I think that that is also kind of rude and I think it needs to stop. So just my two cents, I guess. Another topic that has come up recently, feminism, but it's been a lot between the baby boomer generation versus generation X, which is my generation. Um, a lot of middle-aged women from the baby boomer generation have been rather rude, not just to myself, but to a lot of people in my generation who identify as a feminist. They've said rude things like, you don't understand, you don't know, you're not really a feminist because you couldn't possibly know how difficult it was for us to grow up. And sure, we may not have grown up having the same exact struggles that the baby boomer generation has had to fight through, but you know, we have our own problems. We have new ones that crop up. We have some of the old ones, you know. I just think it it's not good to kind of infight, I guess, if we're all in agreement of what we want the outcome to be. And I think it's unfair of the baby boomer generation to turn to the younger generation and say that we don't have the knowledge or, you know, the experiences that would make us feminists. I don't know if other people have encountered this issue recently or if 
it's just been something that I've seen a lot. Cat. Um, so go ahead and leave your thoughts or comments down below. Um, if you have anything you want to say on any of those topics, go right on ahead. Um, and I will gladly listen to your opinions and whatever else. And I would enjoy hearing from you guys. My goodness, you're getting big now. Yeah, you're so big. Big, strong man. <laughs> yeah, there's a kitty in the background. You see the kitty? I have like two worlds in Minecraft that I've been going between a creative and a survival but both of them are amplified worlds. I made a video, I believe, and I made some gifts the other day. That was my stomach. And I have some screen caps on my Tumblr as well. I think it's funny how every video I do, he ends up coming into the room and talking to me. He's a mama's boy. So I guess there's nothing else to add. Um, I am going to try to actually stick to my word this time and update more regularly than I have been and that sounds like a good plan. Hopefully it'll be sooner rather than later. And leave any questions, comments, concerns down below. The link to the no bake pumpkin pie in a jar will be down below. So. That's everything, I think. Uh, check out my Tumblr, and yeah, that's about it. All right, love y'all, bye.